I can't believe I have to tell you about this, but some cookie con artists have been trying to pull a fast one on a few different Girl Scout troops in our area. Girl Scouts in Bradenton tell Nightside's Joshua Dorwitz they've had some people pay for their coveted cookies using fake cash, and now police are trying to track them down. Box after box. Um, probably Samoas or Tagalongs. Cookies are big business this time of year for 10-year-old Sydney and her little sister Reagan. Mom was out helping them sell this past weekend when they say someone used counterfeit cash to buy cookies. And if that wasn't enough, milked their profit and asked for change, too. My seven-year-old was handed a $50 bill. She sat there and took her time, and he waited patiently while she took her time to make sure that she counted with care his change and handed it back to him. I know Reagan felt like she did something wrong, and that was tough as a mom, you know, to explain to her that she didn't. After that discovery, six other troops who'd also been posted up outside the State Road 64 Publix, the nearby Walmart or Publix on State Road 70 also reported getting bogus bills, totaling more than $650 in losses. Well, I'm really upset because Girl Scouts work very hard to sell all these cookies. Here's how much this is costing them. The guy that used this fake 50 got two boxes in change. That means they would have to sell another 68 boxes just to make up for what they lost. Just sadness. Who would do this? Basically, you mark it with this. All Gulf Coast troops are now getting a crash course in spotting phony money. So now the girls have really become money detectives, so to speak. And if it's During black, this crummy situation. And if it's clear, then it's real into a fully baked opportunity. Now, Bradenton police are investing. There is some good news, though, to tell you about here. They say people in the community have already started reaching out, wanting to donate to help those girls make up all of their losses.